Hi guys, I'm a Forrester here with a math solution to a common problem. An ancient Greek philosopher Pythagoras came up with a relationship that can help you whether you're staking a garden plot, building an outbuilding or a deck like the one I'm standing on, or putting in a forestry research project like I've been doing. My wife says it can even help her with making a quilt. In the fall, as the temperatures cool, we get busy laying out and establishing progeny tests. These are research plots that allow us to compare the growth rates of seedlings from controlled crosses of many different loblolly pine trees. Now, a typical progeny test might include 2,000 seedlings split evenly over 8 to 10 replications over 2 or 3 acres. Now the planting spots are located very accurately to provide the same growing space for each seedling. And that's where Pythagoras comes in. Let's go to the tabletop and I'll demonstrate on paper first, then we'll come back outside to actually lay out a 90 degree angle. I'll include a picture of a progeny test that we just finished establishing. See you inside. Okay, here we are at the tabletop. Pythagoras discovered a rule that has some very practical applications. So here we have a triangle. It has a 90 degree angle and it has sides A, B, and C. And what Pythagoras discovered is that if you had a triangle with a 90 degree angle, then the square of side A plus the square of side B is equal to the square of side C. So the relationship there is that you can take the square root of both sides and solve for C. And C would be equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. Now in the case of this, if A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 4, what is C? Well, this would be the square root of 9 plus 16 or 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So C is equal to 5. So how can this knowledge help us? Well, if we wanted to lay out a series of parallel lines, we know that if we start with a triangle of 3, 4, 5, that this is going to give us a 90 degree angle. So let me demonstrate. I'll draw a baseline of 3 and I'm going to use a different scale. So I'll use this scale right here. It'll be a little larger triangle. And I'm going to draw a baseline of three. That's our th side with three inches. Okay. Now I'm going to get a protractor. And I've already measured it in four inches. I'm going to start from this point right here. And we don't know exactly where a 90 degrees angle is going to be, so I'm just going to draw an arc. That arc is roughly 4 inches. Now I'm going to measure 5 inches with the protractor and do this fairly accurately and measure it from this corner of the baseline. And where those lines cross form a 90 degree angle for this side right here. And it should be 4 inches and roughly 90 degrees. Or precisely 90 degrees. Now a good check is to measure this side and if it's 5 inches we're right on. It is and that means that this is a 90 degree angle. Now if we wanted to draw other lines out here that are parallel we only have to measure off of these two points. Now this works for a 3-4-5 triangle, but it also works for any multiple of that. So we could do a 30, 40 foot, and a 50 foot triangle if we drew this line in right here. Let's go outside and I'll show you what this looks like in real life. Okay, the first order of business is to establish our corner which is already put in the ground right up there. Now we're going to establish the baseline by measuring 30 feet out and putting a second stake in the ground. I pulled my tape out to 30 feet right there. We'll pull the, the uh, tape tight. 
and then put this one in the ground right here. Now all we have to do is establish the third corner of the triangle. Okay, I forgot to turn my microphone when I put in that first stake, but I turned it on this time so hopefully you can hear it. Now we're measuring 40 feet out from that corner stake. So here's the 40 foot mark. Now I'm shorthand of labor, but I'm not short of pine cones. So I'm going to use what I have available to mark 40 feet. I have to measure an arc, remember. So I'm going to drop a pine cone at 40 feet in an arc around here. I think that should be enough. Now let's go back to the other corner and pull 50 feet from there. Okay, now we're pulling 50 feet from the other corner over there and where the 50 foot line intersects this line or this arc of pine cones, that will make a 90 degree angle back at the corner. So here's 50 feet right here where my thumb is. It doesn't reach the pine cones, but it'll get closer if we go that way. So let's walk around. It's beyond the pine cones there, so it's right here, 50 feet. So this will make a 90 degree angle back at the starting point. And here's a close up right here of where the 50 foot mark came to in line with the pine cones. All right, I'll leave you with a shot of my favorite beech tree in fall color. This is an offspring of a beech tree that's on some family property in Western North Carolina. I've shown you that tree in previous videos. But there is a lot of work that goes into establishing these progeny tests. We did two this year and typically we'll do two or three each year. I'll leave you with a picture of the very first progeny test that we established this fall and it was Carla, our tree improvement specialist, very first test. So I'll show her outstanding in her field. Y'all take care.